This hour by Frederick Remington Fully Cooked Ready to Eat Bacon. Exclusive no refrigeration 10 year extended shelf life bacon. The thickest media center cut bacon in the industry at fullycookedbacon.com. The stocks discussed on Wall Street Raw are not in any way a recommendation or solicitation to buy, sell, or hold. If considering on acting on information, we first recommend you seek out a competent, licensed professional for advice. What kingdom has sent you? The kingdom of the Most High. Nothing you have ever experienced can prepare you for the unbridled carnage you're about to witness. The Super Bowl, the World Series, they don't know what pressure is. In this building, it's either kill or be killed. You make no friends in the pits and you take no prisoners. One minute, you're up half a million in soybeans and the next, boom. Your kids don't go to college and they've repossessed your Bentley. Are you with me? Genesis Communication Network is proud to bring you Wall Street Raw with nationally recognized market timer and previous Wall Street Week elf, Mark Leibovic, welcoming you on board his financial time machine. And here is the elf himself, Mark Leibovic. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to Wall Street Raw on this Saturday, June 2nd. It's hard to believe it's already June, and uh, the heat's starting to hit us out here in uh, the Phoenix area, uh, which we expect this time of year. But there are, are escape routes, so we'll, we'll see what we can do to cool off when we need to. Meanwhile, hopefully uh, weather is good uh, where you're located, and uh, we're looking for uh, a lot of volatility and excitement uh, this summer in the markets, uh, a lot of cyclical indicators talk about, you know, sell may go away, a lot of choppiness, a summer rally possibility. Meanwhile, the major indices seem to be holding up pretty uh, decently here. So, um, uh, you know, market's been climbing that wall of worry. You know, one minute we're worrying about uh, tariff issues or uh, North Korea or Iran. Um, we're talking about all kinds of uh, um, oh, the Mueller investigation with Trump, a lot of nonsense uh, with regard to all that, and the market just seems to be flip-flopping, but overall holding up, I think, uh, pretty decently. So with the um, small-cap stocks like the Russell 2000 names uh, moving into new uh, you know, new highs in recent sessions, that's, you know, it's a sign of speculation, but uh, it's a good shot that we'll see the Dow and the S&P possibly into new highs this summer, even, um, you know, even without, uh, you know, taking into account that is the, you know, cyclical picture, which worries everyone into the fall. Um, I think a big surprise, you know, will be for those who believe that uh, Trump is in trouble or that the Democrats are suddenly going to take over here. Basically, they've, they've moved into a, uh, I don't know, a position of lunacy, in my opinion, with the kind of stuff and comments we've been hearing in the press the last few days, uh, the Roseanne Barr story and all these things that are happening out there, just that, uh, you know, these, these people just don't realize they lost the election and uh, what Trump is doing. Uh, it's just, it's just terrific, you know, honestly, one of the best presidents that we ever had, you know, taking strong stances, following through on his campaign pledges, as you know, we've been supporters from day one, and if you're looking at any economic activity, uh, it's clear that he's been, you know, beneficial. So we're standing up for our rights, folks, and that's what we need to do in this world with regard to tariffs and everything else, including on putting our embassy in Jerusalem, which was long overdue and promised, as you all know, by previous presidents and never occurred. Those of, you, those of you may not be familiar with me, I guess I introduce myself each week, even though I've been doing this for 35, 40 years in terms of being in the financial newsletter business. I used to work with Louis Rukeyser on that old Wall Street Week television program way, way back and worked with Paul Kangas on the nightly business report as a market monitor, monitor guest. I've been publishing VR Trader or prior to that it was called Volume Reversal Survey since 1979. Um, was director of research of a couple of brokerage firms in uh, Chicago and um, just, you know, been all over the place. Uh, I actually took a couple of small companies public in the process 
and I'm always out there looking for opportunity, as you should as well. And our opportunity should not only necessarily be limited to the stock market, you know, whether we play precious metals or whether we get into real estate opportunities or whether we do some venture financing for some uh, startup companies. There are a lot of ways to uh, make money out there, not uh, just being in the uh, Dow Industrials or looking for individual stocks. So, you know, we're somewhat critical of Wall Street, even though I play it. It's a rigged game, has been throughout the century. A lot of proof. We've seen uh, scandals and documentation of uh, these accusations that I'm making for, for, for a long, long time. Um, so, you know, we just have to know that the big boys run the show. I used to be a floor trader on the Chicago Board Options Exchange in a previous lifetime and saw very much of that kind of shenanigans underway. So just we play the game, and I suppose if you're a long-term investor, the market does tend to go up. I mean, look at a 100-year chart. So if you're willing to take the risk of, you know, big uh, setbacks and corrections along the way, which I'm not, but if you're willing to do that, and if you just sit and hold, I suppose, the down industrials and hold it for 20, 30, 40 years, and if you're a younger investor, that would be a great strategy. If you're just uh, put it away, and just uh, hopefully getting some dividend stocks, generate some cash along the way, of course. But, you know, that seems to work. But, you know, we are more timers in the market. We try to catch things. Things that are moving, you know, for example, you know, the cannabis stocks. We have a cannabis vice newsletter. I have a service uh, called the VR Trading Addict where we uh, try to pick some trades uh, every day or two for those who are looking for more action. We launched, as I mentioned in previous broadcast, the VR Crypto Letter, trying to follow the new action in the cryptocurrencies, ICOs, individual stocks that are involved in blockchain. So we're trying to stay on top of what's moving and what's active. On our show today, we hope to have uh, quite a few special guests. Uh, Henry Weingarten hopefully will join us shortly. Um, Good friend Harry Boxer is in the wings uh, today as well, Don Villalo, and my good friend Sinclair No, hopefully will be joining us later in the program. So we try to keep you abreast of uh, their opinions as well as our own, and uh, they bring some interesting insights into the program. So looking at the markets until we get uh, Henry on the line here this morning, uh, as you know, gold's been underperforming. With all the bad news out there, everybody thought gold was going to take off here. It does hit a little bit of a seasonal bottoming pattern uh, in midsummer, and there could be another trade there. But until gold really takes out that 1372.75 area, if you're trading, uh, that's uh, something you have to watch for because maybe at that point, maybe we'll get a run to 1400, 1450, maybe even higher. And again, that may only be a trade, not necessarily the beginning of a move to 5000 or a lot of the big numbers that gold bugs have been looking for. Instead, as we know, that that move came in Bitcoin. Well, we, we got uh, Henry Weingarten on the phone, and uh, happy to have him join us as he does each Saturday. Henry, thank you for uh, joining us. Good, my pleasure. Well, um, well, lot, lot going on. Let's 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 hear the Henry Weingarten summary. All right, very simple. <laughs> In the last two Wall Street next week, we made it very simple. U.S. markets are easy if. Number one, you remember that Trump has a great horoscope for 2018, i.e., you buy on dips. And we've been doing that when the market was under 24,000, when they hit 24,600, the last thing on uh, the Monday, Tuesday issues. And basically, the U.S. is strong. You can see that in the economic numbers. So when the market's down, you buy. That's number one. Number two, markets are easy if you believe, as we do, that there's going to be three interest rate increases and not four in, the, in 2018. When it was the bonds were 310, we suggested uh, basically buying them and then reversing it on a 290 test. We sort of waited a little bit, did it at 286, and then under 280 with the Italian nonsense. And that was also a good trade. So if you just keep those two things in mind, it's relatively easy to trade the market. The second thing is about Bitcoin. As you know, we sort of failed the 8,000 uh, pivot, 10,000 10, uh, resistances, and we believe we'll be seeing the under 5,000 um, test before the end of June. Some results, this is very tough for Bitcoin, but even June on, I mean, there's no reason to buy this stuff. There are lots of reasons to sell it, and there are much better coins if you want to be in crypto. So that's the bottom line. 
Yeah, Henry, you know, unfortunately, uh, we just ran out of time. Uh, if you want to stay with okay. us, so we can we can get you on the next segment. But otherwise, Henry Weingarten from AFUN.com if you want more information. Thank you for joining us. Right. You're listening to Wall Street Law with Mark Leibovitz. Go to WallStreetLawRadio.com for information on Mark's newsletters and products. Stay tuned. Mark will be right back. You have been lied to. Generation after generation, time after time after time. If you follow the money, then you understand why America's in the condition it's in. Now, you created the Star Reserve in 1913 through lies. You create 9-11. Through 9-11, you then you're fighting a war on terror. And now all of a sudden you go into Iraq, which was another lie. This book will open people's eyes. Throw it in now at killingunclesambook.com. Killingunclesambook.com. Warning, if you're drowning in debt you can't afford, do not let the credit card companies trick you into thinking that you have to pay it all back, because you don't. What the credit card companies don't want you to know is that there's actually a way to get debt-free without paying off your entire debt or going bankrupt. If you have $5,000 or more in credit card debt, you now have the right to let us settle that debt for a fraction of what you owe. For free information, call Credit Associates now. 1-800-959-5759. We'll even show you how much money you could save. If you can't afford to pay off all your debt, do not let the credit card companies trick you into thinking that you have to. Call Credit Associates now for free information on how to get debt-free faster than you ever thought possible without debt consolidation or bankruptcy. We depend on your success and offer a guarantee, so there's no risk. For free information, call now. 1-800-959-5759. That's 1-800-959-5759. 1-800-959-5759. Hunters, anglers, campers, and survivalists, get back to nature. Expand your horizons with the highest quality, most versatile, unique Slingshots and sling bows on the market at slingbow.com. Slingbow products are compact and models start from just $17.98. They're perfect for your bug out bag or storing in your vehicle. Give yourself and your loved ones the excitement and tradition of Slingbow, a new frontier in archery and truly modern twist on this primitive survival tool. Feel the thrill only at slingbow.com. This is Dan Pillett. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpillett.com. Have you checked your Google search results lately? Search results are usually the first impression that people form of you or your business. So make sure that they create a positive impression with ReputationDefender.com. What the Internet says about you can have a big impact on your life and your livelihood, even if it's not true. Fortunately, you can now control how you look online and in online search results with ReputationDefender.com. Call 800-831-0771 now. That's 800-831-0771 for your free reputation. Analysis. If you have negative material from an ex-employee, upset patient, or former client, newspaper article, legal issue, social media, or other source showing up in your search results, you can combat it with ReputationDefender.com. Our dedicated experts in patented technology can help make your online search results look their best. Call 800-831-0771 to learn more. 800-831-0771. That's 800-831-0771. Or visit ReputationDefender.com. Bacon lovers, we ship free. Try our amazing bacon. No refrigeration required. Proprietary value-added packaging provides 10 years shelf life and protects the leanest, thickest, center-cut, fully-cooked bacon in America today. Ready to eat right from the pouch or warm and serve. Savory and delicious. Wholesale price for your everyday use. Order today at readytoeatbacon.com. Readytoeatbacon.com. Never show any 
sign of weakness. Always go for the throat. Buy low, sell high. Fear, that's the other guy's problem. Welcome back to the Wall Street Raw Radio Show with Mark Leibovitz, your time machine for the financial markets. Want to know more? Go to WallStreetRawRadio.com. Now, here's the elf himself, Mark Leibovitz. Welcome back to Wall Street Raw on this Saturday, uh, June 2nd. And on the line with us is our good friend, uh, Henry Weingarten. Um, we ran to the break, and Henry still has a few more thoughts to share with us. Henry, we left with you with the um, cryptocurrencies. You're a little bearish there, and let's move on. A lot bearish. Okay, secondly, uh, gold. Gold's been holding the, the 1,300 test very nice. It's worth 1390 and you see no gold stocks are really being sold. So this is a great time to accumulate, even though it's a little bit early in the summer. Uh, there's lots of good bargains there. Now, about oil, we were a little bit off on that one, but it was clear when oil got to uh, about 68, it was a problem. We actually hit it at 68 and got stopped out at 70. But oil above 68 is basically a sell or a distribute. And if you remember that we have an election coming, and when elections come, oil always goes down, uh, gas, personally gasoline. So we have the summer driving season that pushes it up, but when it's above 68, it's a bit expensive. It really belongs closer to 65. Tight trade, but that's something to notice. Okay. That's basically it. Oh, okay, great. Henry Weingarten from the Astrologers Fund, afund.com. And uh, thank you, Henry, for squeezing us in on the Saturday morning. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks again. You got it. All the best. And thank you. We hope to get Don VLO on the uh, line in a few moments. Don's with us every week, and uh, he's from um, the Toronto area. He's been a, uh, um, you know, a... Uh, Analyst for the uh, Toronto uh, Technical Analyst Society. He was involved with the Horizons Fund as a manager. So one of our uh, great guests. So when Henry, uh, excuse me, when Don gets on the line, we'll. Uh, okay, we do. That's great. Hey, Don. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. So you've been doing the traveling. If, yeah. Well, and more coming up too. Well, you know, when it gets 110 degrees in Phoenix, you find excuses to go places. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I do, I do have a couple of conferences coming up in the next couple of weeks, but uh, we'll do our best to stay stay on board. So let's introduce uh, Don. Don is uh, the creator of the great blog, uh, equityclock.com and timingthemarket.ca. And we always enjoy having Don on the show with the Canadian perspective. So much going on this uh, past week, Don. Let's hit it. The, the TSX Composite Index uh, has reached a seasonal peak, in your opinion, or about to. Yeah, it's fascinating. Historically, during the last 20 years, the uh, TSC composite has peaked around June the 1st uh, for, and bottoms around October the 12th. The average drop during that period is about 3.5%. However, just giving the, the averages doesn't really give the whole picture. See, so between June and mid-October, uh, the TSC composite actually has gone up in 13 of those 20 periods and was declined in seven of those periods. The thing is that when it declined, it declined in big time. Uh, uh, in five of those seven periods when it went down, it dropped by more than 12%. So we're now entering into a, into a period of time when things get a little bit dicey and there's a much greater risk in the Canadian market than normal. Looks like a little bit of um, peak in uh, crude oil here the last few days. We just got off the phone with uh, Henry Weingart, and he thought uh, this was a, a sell time for crude oil, that it's uh, hit, a, hit a bit of a seasonal or a technical peak. Is that... Uh, some of you're seeing? On a seasonal basis, uh, crude oil prices normally go higher right through until approximately August. So on a seasonal basis, I don't see that yet. On a technical basis, we've seen uh, crude oil prices roll over from some pretty hefty levels during the last uh, uh, couple of weeks. So uh, there could be something there. Okay. So what are the chances of a substantial decline this year looking at the market? Overall, overall well, market. Yeah, I think that you want to look at the uh, number of uh, uh, pieces of evidence. First of all, looking at the U.S. market, uh, the first quarter earnings report season is just about to end. Uh, and it started 11 weeks ago, and during the 11, last 11 weeks, both the Dow Jones Industrial Average and the S&P 500 Index are absolutely flat, despite very, very strong earnings. Now, that's an indication that uh, the 
market is not doing what it's supposed to be doing. Mm-hmm. We've seen a similar situation here in Canada, where uh, Canada's biggest banks uh, over the last two weeks have reported their their fiscal second quarter results. Uh, the results have been spectacular, much higher than consensus, and yet despite that, the TSE uh, bank stocks have actually gone down about 2%. So we've got some early warning signs on a fundamental basis that things are not going the way they should. So looking at seasonality, then, let's, let's talk about that, the evidence there. Seasonality certainly uh, shows us as well. Historically, from around uh, May right through until October during a midterm election year, the U.S. markets and the Canadian markets also have difficulties. Uh, they have a tendency to move lower during that period of time because of the increasing uh, political rhetoric that occurs uh, in uh, the U.S. Uh, economy. That causes uh, more volatility in equity markets and equity prices in both U.S. and Canada have a history of moving lower during that period of time. And we've got all this uh, trade negotiations and uh, tariffs uh, that have surfaced here. Suddenly Canada is not exempt as we thought would be the case. Yes, and the uh, Canadian uh, uh, government is not too pleased about what's happening here. They thought they were very close to doing a deal, but then last week uh, that deal, uh, particularly on the NAFTA negotiations, seemed to disappear. It looks like NAFTA will not be uh, negotiated for completion until after the uh, midterm elections in the United States. So that just means delay, and that also creates additional uncertainties. In the case of Canada, we've seen a number of stocks uh, not doing too well as a result of this news, most notably the auto parts stocks, which have been under a lot of pressure as a result of uh, this uh, this news about uh, trade barriers coming from the United States. Canada has responded, too. Uh, Canada has uh, gone tit for tat and basically said, okay, if you're going to put on uh, uh, tariffs on steel and aluminum, we're going to give you equal tariffs on U.S. products, which are going to hit U.S. companies. Wow, just a real mess. Meanwhile, let's jump on to gold and silver. Uh, We should be hitting some type of seasonal play this summer, correct? Yeah, we're a little bit early right now. Historically, the uh, gold seasonality starts around late in July and goes right through until the beginning of October. But we've had some early warning or uh, warning early uh, signals that it might be coming a little bit earlier than usual this year. A couple of things to watch. First of all, individual stocks like Agnico Eagle and uh, let's see what else. Uh, gold Corp have had some pretty good bumps during the last little while. They've actually broken out on the upside prior to the start of the traditional uh, period of seasonal strength for gold stocks. The other thing is that the gold stocks are starting to outperform the price of gold itself. And historically, when that happens, just prior to the period of seasonal strength, that's when both gold and gold stocks move higher. Don, thank you so much for joining us. Don Vilo from EquityClock.com. Talk to you next week. Go to WallStreetRawRadio.com for more information on Mark's newsletters and products. Stay tuned. Mark will be right back. High-performance investors and traders use superior financial tools to achieve superior returns. You have that tool with Mark Leibovitz, nationally renowned top market timer, legendary television Wall Street Week elf, and nightly business report market monitor, who shares with you his unique market tools and commentary at WallStreetRaw.com. At WallStreetRaw.com, Mark provides you with his latest ideas on how to help build and protect your wealth and help you avoid the next big market crash. Mark has a special free gift for listeners of his Wall Street Raw radio show. Go to WallStreetRaw.com and sign up for his free monthly Cannabis Vice News Raw Report. While there, go ahead and sign up for his free monthly Gold News Raw Report. Both are totally free. No credit card information is required. Sign up today for your free Cannabis Vice News Raw and Gold News Raw Reports at WallStreetRaw.com. That's WallStreetRaw.com. 
Have you checked your Google search results lately? Search results are usually the first impression that people form of you or your business. So make sure that they create a positive impression with ReputationDefender.com. What the Internet says about you can have a big impact on your life and your livelihood, even if it's not true. Fortunately, you can now control how you look online and in online search results with ReputationDefender.com. Call 800-831-0771 now. That's 800-831-0771 for your free reputation. Reputation analysis. If you have negative material from an ex-employee, upset patient, or former client, newspaper article, legal issue, social media, or other source showing up in your search results, you can combat it with ReputationDefender.com. Our dedicated experts in patented technology can help make your online search results look their best. Call 800-831-0771 to learn more. 800-831-0771. That's 800-831-0771. Or visit ReputationDefender.com. It's been said, any society is only three missed meals away from chaos. Those times may be near. Think about it. Our country faces multiple terrorist threats and aggressions from Russia and North Korea. Social unrest and violent marches yet again may lead to looting of stores and city shutdowns. And our crumbling infrastructure leaves our power grid vulnerable to long-term outages from a single cyber attack. When the chaos from any one of these threats arises, the government knows it can't provide during a widespread national emergency. That's why you need your own plan for self-reliance. That's where My Patriot Supply comes in. Get a four-week survival food supply for only $99. That includes breakfast, lunches, and dinners. Order online at preparewithgcn.com. 99 bucks for four weeks of survival food that tastes like homemade cooking and lasts up to 25 years from My Patriot Supply. Get your kits today at preparewithgcn.com. Free shipping is included. Preparewithgcn.com. Extendivite really works. Just listen to what some people have to say. Several years ago, I was developing a very uh, severe situation. I called it my flippy heart. It just was doing not good things. And I did not want to go to a medical doctor because uh, I just knew they would give me a cover-up pill. I didn't want to get onto that sort of thing at all. When I learned it was garlic and cayenne, and cayenne is a healer. It is a wonderful herb. I said, I think I'm on to something here. I'll tell you, I wouldn't be without it. It did wonderful things for me. Extendivite is only $69.95 for a two-month supply of either capsules or liquid. Call now. That's 1-877-928-8822 or visit heartdrop.com. Extend your life with Extendivite. Welcome back to Wall Street Raw. Want to know more about Wall Street Raw and the Leibovitz VR newsletters? Go to WallStreetRawRadio.com. Welcome back to Wall Street Raw on the Saturday, June 2nd. And we have our good friend and always very special guest, Harry Boxer, uh, on the line with us. And uh, it's always a pleasure having Harry with us. He runs a great website called The Tech Trader. Dot com, hardest working guy I know in the industry on all day, going over charts uh, for short-term traders, both on a swing basis and intraday, and uh, really admire his work because he tunes out the overall market. And every day there's always something moving, and Harry seems to be able to catch most of them. Good morning, Harry. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. What's going on? Okay, what's going on? Talking to great Harry Boxer. Tell me uh, what the market uh, is resilient. Well, <laughs> Close a very key breakout in the NASDAQ 100. It's going up 108 at 7075. We hit my target at 7080, only at 7079.80. And I don't, you know, even though we made back and still even pull back, I just think that today's an important breakout. Now, what's missing is we did come from the confirming. Now, the SP did make a minor breakout, 
but it's that resistance. And until it gets over 2740, I can't even get excited about this just yet. I'm, I'm, I'm still cautious, but the most important thing is individually, what stock do you have that are moving? It's not important what the market's doing. Everybody always asks me, what's the market doing? I keep buying why. Are you buying a spy? No, if you're not buying a spy, you're buying individual stocks. In the worst month, as we have stocks that are going up, and, and as you know, Mark, if you're trading, day trading or swinging, you want stocks that are moving up. It doesn't matter what the market's doing if they're moving up, right? So right, now absolutely. Dow's up, uh, up 232, we're up 29 in the S&P, 109 in the um, NDX. And, you know, advanced declines and up-down volume are solid. They're, they're 3 to 1 on NASDAQ, 2 to 1 on New York on up-down volume, and uh, advanced declines are about the same. It's solid, not an overly overheated day, and that's what I like to see. Uh, for the market to move up without too much overheating. Well, we were climbing a wall of worry with all the bad news out there with regard to tariffs, with regard to Iran, with regard to North Korea, with regard to the Trump investigation, and the market just uh, seems to be pushing higher. And don't you think, you know, the fact that we saw the Russell into new highs and now NASDAQ, it's just inevitable the Dow and the S&P are going to catch up. Maybe that will be the top when they finally make new highs this summer. You never know, well, you right? Remember what, remember what Sir Granville was said, the market climbs a wall of worry, and then and, uh, it, most people do the opposite of what you need to do. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I have, that's why when everybody, when I thought a week and a half ago that the AAR, uh, what's his, what is that, uh, AAII, American Association of Individual Investors, right. bull, 23% bull, 77% bear, that's what I know the market's going higher. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so, no, no, no question about it. Yeah, news, yeah. Is, news, is, news is negative, and as you exactly pinpointed it, uh, Joe Granville's climbing the wall of worry. That's what's been going on here. It's amazing. So yeah. uh, any particular uh, stocks to stand out? I know one of your favorites, Copen, is on the move, K-O-P-N. You yes, like that I really one. like the way uh, if you look at the last few days, it's starting to pick up steam that had some announcements. I just think this is the level right through here that if it gets to this zone, it's going to be four. Four and a half, five and a quarter, six and a half. I mean, I think the stock could go up six percent in the next few weeks, if not a hundred percent. We'll see. That was my call. Um, a lot of the biotechs that we had was great. You saw Viking this week. We, um, I, gave, I gave a swing at just recently at Market Watch uh, recommendation at four at five thirteen, and it hit eleven fifteen. And it only took two days. I mean, it was up a hundred percent yesterday, one day on, on drug days. Sometimes you get lucky, but no, the technical he, he, ready to go. You've had it on the list for a couple of months. It's been moving higher slowly. It's a great call. Right. Mm-hmm. What about uh, what, what, what about my favorite marijuana stock, uh, Canopy Growth? Yeah. Yeah. Now look, I it's forming. If you look at the uh, short term consolidation, I mean, ever since it got listed, first they popped it to thirty one, then they dropped it down to twenty six and three coins, but it's still down, and that's kind of an important area. But now it's CGC. It's across, in my opinion, 29, 29 and a quarter. It's going to run again. We target the 31 and a quarter and then 34. I think 35, 88, the all-time high, if you take that out, you're looking at 40, 45. This may be a 48, $50 stock in the next few weeks. We'll see, but it's got to break out with volume and it's got to show me energy. And right now, it's just sitting here um, like the eye of the hurricane. We're waiting for you know the something to occur. We'll see. Okay. I like the overall setup, though. Okay, great. Yeah, it's uh, it's a big name and uh, it's a big blue chip uh, to play. Harry, I, I know you got to get back to your screens. Always a pleasure talking to Harry Boxer. If you want more information, you still offer your two week free trial, right? Always with no credit card necessary. Just come on in for a couple weeks and check us out. Okay, the thetechtrader dot com. Thetechtrader dot com. Harry Boxer, have a great weekend, Harry. We'll talk to you next week. Thank you for having us uh, look at your uh, ideas. Great, great no calls. Problem. Thank you. All right, Thank bye. You. Bye bye. Well, yeah, it's always a pleasure having uh, Harry Boxer on the show. A lot of interesting trades, but uh, if you really want to, if you want to experience some action, folks, try it out. It's really fun. Great, uh, great intraday action calls. Our good friend Sinclair No, hopefully, uh, will be able to join us here in uh, just a few moments. Uh, Sinclair No is a regular guest on the show, creator of the great blog EatTheBankers.com, and financial commentator at KFN 1510 Phoenix. We're waiting for Sinclair to uh, get on the line with us. We've got a lot to cover on the show. Sinclair, thank you for joining us. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. Okay. Bated breath here. So as we always do, or we try to do, it's, it's that special time. 
It's time for another edition of Banks Behaving Badly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we love this. So um, Deutsche Bank has now been classified as a problem bank by the FDIC. Is that any great surprise to you? I'm shocked. <laughs> Shocked, I tell you. <laughs> Just as we were with Wells Fargo, right? Yeah. Um, it's like Deutsche Bank is the European version of Wells Fargo, I think. They just keep getting into trouble. It's, uh, well, of course, we did have uh, some competition this week uh, in Europe. Uh, the Italian banks. Um, I mean... <laughs> We're laughing, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so but we can really... also, uh, let's also throw in their Citigroup. Citigroup and Deutsche Bank now face criminal cartel charges yeah, over in Australia, not here in the U.S., because, of course, you know, here in the U.S., banks are not criminals. Uh, but Australia is opening an investigation into the role of uh, the sale of shares in one of the top banks over there, and the Australian Competition and Consumer Commission is bringing prosecutors in to, to bring criminal cartel charges against uh, Citigroup, Deutsche Bank, and um, I think it's ANZ, the Australian bank, if I remember. Um, regulars say uh, the charges concern trading in ANZ stock. They did a, an issuance uh, roughly $2 billion worth back in 2015, and the deal was backed by Citigroup and uh, Deutsche Bank. And uh, so, yeah, it's just one thing after another, isn't it? It, it, it really is. We, we have no shortage of material for the uh, eatthebankers.com blog or for uh, the segment on the show. It, it, it really, uh, really is amazing. But, you know, what's more amazing is the average person doesn't know or care. That's really that's really incredible. So, Claire, you know, we have another big segment coming up, and we look forward to uh, you staying with us here. We have a lot to cover with what's going on both in Europe, here in the U.S., tariffs, you name it, Federal Reserve meeting coming up. So yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll join Sinclair right after the break. Don't touch your dial here on Wall Street Raw. You are listening to Wall Street Raw with Mark Leibovitz. Go to WallStreetRawRadio.com for information on Mark's newsletters and products. Stay tuned. Mark will be right back. High-performance investors and traders use superior financial tools to achieve superior returns. You have that tool with Mark Leibovitz, nationally renowned top market timer, legendary television Wall Street Week elf, and nightly business report market monitor who shares with you his unique market tools and commentary at WallStreetRaw.com. Here, Mark provides you with his latest ideas on how to help build and protect your wealth and help you avoid the next big market tsunami. Mark has a special free gift for listeners of his Wall Street Raw radio show. Go to WallStreetRaw.com and sign up for his free monthly Cannabis Vice News Raw Report. While there, go ahead and sign up for his free monthly Gold News Raw Report. Both are totally free. No credit card information is required, and no one will call. Sign up today for your free Cannabis Vice News Raw Report and Gold News Raw Report at WallStreetRaw.com. Hello, this is Dr. Bill Deagle, MD of Nutramedical.com, announcing the breakthrough Red Deer Velvet DR. It delivers the protected building blocks of all organs and tissues, allowing your own stem cells as architects and engineers to regenerate you. Not since fetal life, when aging does not occur, has such an amazing Nutramed been available to help heal you and regenerate you. Anti-aging requires that you correct mineral, activate nutraceutical, and jump the gene defects and poor diet you have to deliver the cellular tools for regeneration. You must remove old damaged cells and replace them with your young healthy cells to wind the biological clock to a younger you. Order your Red Deer Velvet DR now at Nutramedical.com 24-7 or 888-212-8871. That's Nutramedical, N-U-T-R-I, medical, M-E-D-I-C-A-L.com. 
or call our order line 888-212-8871. Frustrated trying to get business capital? Want to take the slow process and rejection out of the equation? GCNloans.com removes the slow, irritating approval process. Instead, get quick, simple funding. Powered by David Allen Capital, 80% of our pre-qualified clients are approved in days. Pre-qualify at GCNloans.com and get your money this week. It's that easy. GCNloans.com. That's GCNloans.com. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, the inventor of MyPillow, and like all of you out there, I had problems sleeping. Pillows would go flat, I would flip-flop all night long, I would wake up with a sore neck, maybe a headache, or feel like I needed a nap even though I slept eight hours. When I invented my pillow, I wanted it to where you could move the patented fill to give you the exact support you need as an individual, regardless of sleep position. My pillow will get you into that deep REM sleep faster, and you will stay there longer. It's not about how much time we spend in bed, it's about how much of that quality sleep we get. I do all of my own manufacturing right here in the United States. I have a 10-year warranty. You can wash and dry my pillow, and I give you a 60-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to lose. And here's my best offer ever. You can buy one of my pillows and get one absolutely free. Go to MyPillow.com or call 800-870-0305 and use promo code GCN. That's MyPillow.com or 800-870-0305 with promo code GCN. It's a no-brainer. A Big Berkey water filter is the one you need, period. You need a water filter that removes chlorine, fluoride, pharmaceuticals, BPA, and other endocrine disruptors, pesticides, bacteria, viruses, and much more, right? And does it all at only two cents per gallon. Get the original and most trusted name in gravity water filtration, Big Berkey. And now GCN listeners receive 5% off ceramic filter systems using code GCN. Call or click 1-877-99-BERKEY or BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. That's 1-877-99-BERKEY. Responsibility begins and ends with our partners and our shareholders, and that's it. There is no freedom without the law. Get it? Got it? Good. Welcome back to Wall Street Law and the final segment with Mark Leibovich. Now, here's the elf himself. Welcome back to Wall Street Raw on this Saturday, June 2nd. We have our very special and regular guest, Sinclair Noah, on the line with us from KFNN 1510 Phoenix and author of the incomparable blog, eatthebankers.com. Sinclair, thank you uh, for staying with us on the show this morning. My pleasure. Thank you. This is the place to be on a Saturday morning, right? Uh, yeah, well, we try. We really are trying to do that. Thank you for the compliment. So we have a Federal Reserve uh, meeting uh, coming up on June 12th the 13th, and uh, just uh, two weeks before the meeting, as you know, the Federal Reserve uh, Policy uh, Committee publishes the Beige Book. So, yeah. Beige what, Book the... is so aptly titled. I mean... <laughs> It's blah. <laughs> it is beige. Um, it's actually actually refers to the cover of uh, the publication that they put out two weeks before an FOMC meeting. But basically they're saying the economy is in pretty good shape. They're not particularly worried about too much. There's a little bit of debate going on in the Fed among the policymakers about how many rate increases they will have this year. We will almost surely get a rate increase um, in the next couple of weeks here at the at the June meeting of the FOMC, mm-hmm. particularly when we look at what happened on the on um, the jobs report uh, today, uh, our Friday, uh, the jobs report came in very strong, very solid. Uh, Two hundred twenty three thousand jobs added in the month of May. The unemployment rate drops down to three point eight percent. That's the lowest in right at eighteen years. Uh, you have to go back almost 50 years to find a lower unemployment rate. Um, we're still not seeing much in the way of wage gains, so there's not a lot of inflationary pressure, certainly not um, wage push inflation, where wages start uh, moving higher and higher and higher. We we're up three-tenths of a percent for the month, um, which is a little bit more than the prior month, which was one-tenth of one percent. But still, we're, 
we're just rolling along at about 2.7% annualized wage growth. That's not particularly high. It's, it's relatively low. Uh, it, it's not enough to push uh, inflation higher. Federal Reserve right now is looking at this going, okay, inflation not a problem, at least from the labor front. Now, we are seeing some inflationary pressures coming in in other places, though, and a lot of that has to do with uh, what's going on with tariffs and trade. But we're at the very beginning edge of that, and we don't really know how far that could go at this point. Certainly, if it turns into a trade war, then we got some problems. Right. Uh, that'll be difficult. But right now, it's just a little bit of uncertainty, and basically you've got some of these supply chain managers – uh, you know, taking an extra cup of coffee, getting to work a, a little bit early to try and deal with some issues. But, but that's what they do. I mean, prices change all the time on everything. We are seeing it, though, in energy. And very quietly, for the most part, we've all noticed these $3 a gallon signs uh, on our on our way wherever we're going. Yeah, four dollars uh, in California. <laughs> yeah, yeah, three. They'd love three dollars in, in California uh, and some other places. That that's a big drag on the economy. That's an enormous drag on the economy. Somewhere to the tune probably of about sixty billion dollars compared to prices a year ago. Uh, that knocks out a lot of the stimulative effect of the uh, of the tax cuts that we've seen. It it really serves as a damper. On a, for a lot of people, and um, we'll just have to see how much higher it goes. If we start getting into trade wars, it could go considerably higher. We start seeing further breakdown of, of some things, that it could go considerably higher. But right now, what I always consider the most important bit of economic data each month, the jobs report, shows that people are working. When people are working, they have, they have wages, they spend those wages, that generates this virtuous cycle in the economy um, where jobs beget jobs beget jobs, and, and, and that's what makes the economy move. It's a good clear. thing, and it looks good right now. I'm hearing uh, employers can't, can't find people uh, to work. I mean, they're putting out for, uh, higher signs, and, and they're just not getting a response. It really is a sign that either they're not trained for the job or uh, – there's just not enough uh, potential employees out there. It's amazing. That's yeah. what I'm hearing. There are employees out there. Are they trained for a specific job that, that an employer is ready to offer? No. Right. What, is, what is an employer supposed to do? Well, they're supposed to train their workers to do the job, and they're supposed to pay for those workers to do the job. You know, there, there used to be uh, apprenticeship programs uh, in this country where we would train people for the trades and for other things, there, 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 there was a period of learning, but people also need to get paid as, as they're doing that. You know, you think somebody just knows inherently how to do a specific job? No. Yeah, of course they need training. And a lot of people don't want to pay for the training. Well, guess what? That's part of doing business. Get over it and pay up. I'm sorry. You know, people don't just come prepackaged, ready to do whatever specific, and, and the jobs have become more and more specific over time. There are jobs that are incredibly specific, and even if you have a, a good, solid education, even if you have experience in the general industry, you may not know the specifics of any given job at any given moment. It requires training. Do it. And guess what? There are people out there who would love to have a nice, steady job with regular hours, with uh, some benefits in, involved. There are, there are still a ton of people out there doing this gig economy stuff, floating around trying to, to uh, you know, get two dimes to rub together. Well, give them a good job. They'd love it. But you got to train them for it. And it's not that difficult. You just have to be willing to do it. And so far, you know, not enough employers are willing to do it, and that means there is still slack in this labor market. 
Sinclair, let's jump to another story, which is a big one here. Um, it's a little bit of confusing for those who are not familiar with this new European General Data Protection Regulation called GDPR. A lot of businesses uh, are scrambling here because of the penalties that might be involved, and some are already getting penalized. It just got launched May 25th, I read. Yeah. Um, this is, uh, this is uh, you've probably seen some of the emails. You, you probably have run across this, an email saying, Okay, do you want to opt in on this? Um, or you've seen it when you go to a website saying, please click here. Mm-hmm. Um, it, and, and actually, this is not such a bad thing. You might want to actually pay attention to some of those things that are coming in before you hit delete or just move on. You might be able to clean up a little bit of the digital remnants of your consumer history where you have been uh, digitally over the past, you know, few years, maybe even longer. Um, the, the toll to do this is going to be steep, and apparently there are a lot of places that haven't quite figured it all out yet. Um, but basically, this is a chance to have some privacy, uh, digital privacy, we get a little bit more control over our digital lives, at least uh, the Europeans do, and it kind of stretches over to the U.S. as well because uh, a lot of these big tech companies, of course, are are really global in their reach. Um, You know, why why do they need all that data? They're they're in the data collection business, and and they sell that data. But in reality, it's your data. It's your privacy. It's your history. Um, you should have a little bit more control over it, and the Europeans are doing it. We're not really doing it in this country, though. Sinclair, believe it or not, we ran out of time. Just the segment goes so quickly. We can talk no- about a lot more, you know. <laughs> I, I know. We'll do it next week because we ran out of hit the bell. Sinclair, no, KFN and 1510 Phoenix, and author of the great blog, eatthebankers.com. Thank you for joining us. And each week we close our show with what Ed Hart used to say on the old Financial News Network, and we do hear and say we will know in the fullness of time. Thank you for listening to Wall Street Raw with nationally recognized market time and previous Wall Street Week out, Mark Leibovin. If you missed any of today's show or to get in touch with Mark, please go to WallStreetRawRadio.com. Any stocks or investment discussed on Wall Street Raw are not in any way a recommendation or solicitation to buy, sell, or hold. We first recommend you seek out a licensed financial professional for advice. Go to WallStreetRawRadio.com for more information on Mark's newsletters and products. High-performance investors and traders use superior financial tools to achieve superior returns. You have that tool with Mark Leibovit, nationally renowned top market timer, legendary television Wall Street Week elf, and nightly business report market monitor, who shares with you his unique market tools and commentary at WallStreetRaw.com. At WallStreetRaw.com, Mark provides you with his latest ideas on how to help build and protect your wealth and help you avoid the next big market crash. Mark has a special free gift for listeners of his Wall Street Raw radio show. Go to WallStreetRaw.com and sign up for his free monthly Cannabis Vice News Raw report. While there, go ahead and sign up for his free monthly Gold News Raw report. Both are totally free. No credit card information is required. Sign up today for your free Cannabis Vice News Raw and Gold News Raw reports at WallStreetRaw.com. That's WallStreetRaw.com. Water is the single most important thing your body needs, so you want to be sure it's the best for you and your family. Since 2005, thousands have depended on Berkey Purified Water. The Berkey Guy provides the lowest price filtration systems in every size. For incredibly delicious water now and in an emergency, get to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com. 
Health care reform is confusing, but whether it's finding an affordable insurance plan, keeping your doctor, or being able to afford needed prescriptions, navigating the health care system has become a challenge. Control your own health care costs and choices with Liberty HealthShare. Liberty HealthShare is not insurance. It is an association of self-pay patients who unite with like-minded people to share the cost of each other's medical needs. Neighbor helping neighbor. Learn more now by going to libertyoncall.org. That's libertyoncall.org.